Well, good evening, uh, folks. Um, I uh, was checking my email, and I saw that uh, someone was working on Lesson 2, Question 5, and I thought I'd give a quick answer here. Um, this one looks really complicated uh, to get started with, and uh, it is, there's some algebra that we need to recognize first that isn't obvious, and what we're going to do is we're going to simplify this a uh, great deal before we actually get around to solving for R. Uh, the first thing that I kind of want to point out here, and I'll just uh, give this a little circle here. Since this is common to both sides, I'm going to divide it out. And realistically, uh, I think you can probably see where this is going, but I'll write it out anyway. Um, we can simplify then both sides to essentially being uh, 1 over 18 minus R factorial multiplied by R factorial equaling 1 over 16 minus R factorial times R plus 2 factorial. Now, um, since 1 equals 1, well, for obvious reasons, the, uh, the denominators have to be equal, and so what we can do now is we can simply rewrite it as uh, 18 minus R uh, factorial times R factorial is going to equal 16 minus R factorial times R plus 2 factorial. Now what I want to do is um, I want to sort of rearrange things here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide things out here. So I'm going to divide both sides by R factorial and what this is going to let me do, I'm just going to scroll down here a bit, um, is move the R factorial to the other side of the equation. And so what we end up with, 18 minus R factorial is going to equal 16 minus R factorial times R plus 2 factorial over R factorial. Now, um, we want to move the 16 minus R factorial to the other side. So I'm going to divide both sides by that. And uh, what we're going to get here is these reduce out. And I'm left with R plus 2 factorial over R factorial. And that's going to equal 18 minus R factorial over 16 minus R factorial. Now, that's the algebra part, and it's not obvious as to why to do that until you start to rewrite some of these factorial statements. So let me show you. R plus 2 factorial can be written as R plus 2 times R plus 1 times R factorial divided by R factorial. Now of course once you write it that way uh, what's happening is you can see you're getting rid of the factorial expression. Now the other side I'm going to leave a lot of room here because what I'm going to try and do is show you how this works. Minus 1 factorial. I'm going to do this again so bear with me. Now, this side, uh, on the other side, of course, this divides out. And if you'll just be a little messy here, but this reduces down into r plus 2 times r plus 1, like that. Now, the other side, what happens here is this. Now, um, I'm just going to uh, remind you of something over here in green. If you have uh, an expression like 6 factorial, you can really write that as 6 multiplied by 5 factorial like that. Or 6 times 5 times 4 factorial. Or as many times as you need. So basically by subtracting 1 from the number, um, you can always just keep reducing the factorial down. Now that's what I'm doing in both of these expressions. And what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to show you that this side becomes 18 minus R times 
17 minus r factorial. And of course I got that from here. I just subtracted 1 from the 18. So before I go too much farther, instead of writing it 17 minus r factorial, let me write it as 16 minus r factorial. And of course this is still divided by 16 minus r factorial. So now what's going to happen? These divide out and scrolling down a little further again what we're left with is, is that 18 minus r times 17 minus r is going to equal r plus 2 times r plus 1. Now we have uh, basically a, a equation where one quadratic is going to equal the other and uh, we're going to do a little bit of multiplying to sort this out. Um, 18 multiplied by 17, 15, that's 1, 26, there's the 0, 18 more. So we've got 306 minus 35r plus r squared. And on this side, r squared plus 3r plus 2. Now, the r squareds subtract out. And when I go to isolate r, I'm left with 38r equaling 304. And dividing by 38 and dividing by 38, I'm going to be left with r equaling 8. And there's our answer. So this is kind of a, <clears throat> a long-winded approach, but let me just zoom up to the top again. And I'm going to walk you through this. What we wanted to do, first of all, was recognize that the 18th, the things that were common on both sides of the expression, here and here, we wanted to divide those out to get this. And then we recognized that the denominators had to be equal. So that's what took us to this line here. And from there, we wanted to start simplifying things. So we moved anything that started with um, an r or r plus 2 factorial to uh, the right side of the equation and anything with 16 minus r uh, to the other side and that's occurred here. Now the main thing for that is is that, and I'm going to, this is a little bit of, sounds a little odd perhaps, but you see how these are written in a similar form, it's a number minus r factorial Whereas these are in similar form, where they, they both start with R. That's how I knew I wanted to um, get them on the own side of the equation, so that we could start working with similar expressions. And that's what allowed us, you see, uh, here, to expand the R plus 2 statement um, down to R plus 2 times R plus 1 times R factorial. And that's what allowed for this reduction right here. Okay, And then I started doing the same thing to the other side, and that gave me this. And after that, it was um, still a tricky algebra problem. Now, uh, this one does take some practice. Uh, if you can understand how to uh, start manipulating some of these expressions, and most importantly, uh, being able to rewrite factorial statements um, down to something like this. That's, uh, that's the main learning outcome for there. Um, don't despair if you didn't get this one on the first try. Uh, we'll certainly talk about it more in class if we need to. Um, there will be plenty of more practice with these uh, in the days to come. Thanks for your question and uh, hope this explained it for you.